Hey, ladies. <laughs> Welcome to the shittiest show on the internet. It's a real cesspool here. If you're new, then um, I'm so sorry. You know, every year as summer comes to an end, I get a lot of messages from kids asking for advice. Advice from the good old pop. Now, I noticed a lot of you are still in high school, like your balls haven't dropped, and uh, you probably still ride your JD Razors to school. You know, with basic questions like, how do I survive? You know, what should I wear? You know, should I wear a fedora? So today, I thought I'd go with an educational video, and, uh, you know, teach y'all motherfuckers how to survive. Oh, I'm so excited! I miss having intimate conversations with you guys. Come here, come here. No, oh, yeah, baby, I just want to sop you up like a biscuit and just lick you all up. No. Yeah, give me some. You know, I, I try to give good advice, but all these other basic-ass YouTubers are always giving lame advice on their back-to-school videos. But in the midst of everything, it gets better. Just make sure you be yourself! Fuck that shit, being yourself is pathetic. I'm trying to prepare you for the real world. You know, I wanted to do a more educational video today on uh, like how to get away with certain things, how to avoid bullying. I mean, look at yourself. You know how to cheat, you know how to be a total ass in class without getting caught. I got it all, man, I got all the methods, bruh. With my methods, you're gonna survive. <laughs> First and foremost, don't be this guy. Like, please, for the love of Chin Chin, do not be this guy. Like, you know I care about you guys, and I'm telling you right now, just, just don't be that guy. So in terms of appearance, as long as you're not that guy, you can, you can pretty much wear whatever the fuck you want. Otherwise, if you are that guy, <laughs> good luck, man. Alright, let's move on to academics. Ooh, yeah. You know, like, there are these basic classic ways of cheating, like in math, you can put your answers on the TI-84. Or if you have an assignment they have to send online, or via email. If you have Windows, you can get this app called Notepad. You can just open it up and take a huge chunk out of the coding, and send it and the teacher won't be able to open the file. Otherwise, you can look up all that shit online, it's everything's there. But I want to teach you some of the lesser known uh, cheating methods that I used in high school that have worked. I call this one, sexual harassment. Ooh, yeah. Now if you're a guy, you should wear shorts. And if you're a girl, you should wear a skirt. Write all your answers and notes uh, with pen all the way up on your thigh. It works especially well for guys if you have hairy legs like me. It just blends into the jungle. For girls, write it on the side of your leg, you know, if you just lift your skirt up whenever. And usually that just works because it looks like you're scratching yourself down there or like you're, you're getting a little horny or something. So now if a teacher actually does see you doing this and comes by, ladies, a teacher can't ask you to lift up your skirt. And boys, it's kind of weird for a teacher to ask you to lift up your shorts as well. You know, you'll be sitting down and you just subtly, you know, you subtly lift, you subtly lift it. You like that tan line, boy? I know you do. I know you love that tan line, bitch. Now, if the teacher is smart, he ain't trying to catch no case. Ooh, yeah. Now, this is a method that only works for multiple choice, which is usually like half the test anyway. You know, before the class starts, you and a couple students make a, you know, make an agreement. Now, during a test, for someone who doesn't know the answer, they'll just clear their throat. <coughs> you know, that gets the other guy's attention. And let's say it's question 13, you tap the desk. 13 times slowly, and the answer, assuming it's A, B, C, or D, you know, if it's, if it's one tap, it's A, if it's two taps, it's B, if it's three taps, it's S, and so on. And most of the time, it just sounds like you're tapping because, uh, you don't know the answer. Once you get really good at this, you'll be tapping away at each other, and it's crazy. You get more people to join, and there's this whole network going on in the classroom. Those are the basic cheating methods that I had in high school, and it, uh, the joke's on me, cause, cause I didn't learn anything. Ooh, yeah. This is a good one. I'm sure a lot of you already do this. I know I did. But it's a whole year thing. You gotta commit to the role. From day one, you have to make everyone's expectations of you so low that no one will ever ask you for help. No one will bother you. No one will touch you. No one will ask you for homework. But on the down low, you're chilling. You're chilling. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you gotta pretend like you suck at everything. And if you already do suck at everything, Fantastic! You're already one step ahead of everybody. You're a total loser. Now we go to our next topic, bullying. Ooh, yeah. Now, bullying is a huge problem in high schools all over the world. And kids, there's only one way to avoid getting into trouble with this sort of thing. And that's to simply not bully kids. 
directly. If you're gonna bully, do it right. Don't be some pussy ass kid that just shoves kids into lockers. You'll get kicked out. Now I'm about to teach you an ancient method of bullying. I call it sniper bullying. Ooh, yeah. Sniper bullying is a very complex task that requires distressing other individuals. This works especially well when you're a junior or a senior. Step one. Find some pussy ass kid that wants to roll with the big boys, you know, a real kiss ass. There are plenty of those in high school and you know. And you and your friends should get real friendly with this kid. Like, you know, make him feel like he's he's like hanging with the big boys. He's one of the group. Oh boy, you know, you can oh can you get with hang out with the boys, man. Then that kid starts hanging out with you guys. And that's when you recruit an even pussier kid. Now this kid really wants to roll with the big boys. Oh my god, you can roll with the big boys. You know, this kid's pissing himself, he's coming. So now you got a little kid with an even smaller kid rolling with you guys. And you know, you make that little kid feel special too. You don't bully those kids. You find the kid that you want to bully, and you tell that first kid to tell the second kid to bully the kid. That way, when something happens, even if the kids snitch on you, there's no direct proof that you did it, so you can just shrug your shoulders and you know, I don't know these kids. Now, you don't have to do this with just two kids. If you're extra cautious, you can add more kids and you can make a whole layer of them. The more kids you have within the layers, the harder it is for the direct source to reach you, and it will never trace back. We like to call them human proxies, because the more proxies you have, the less likely they are to find the main server. Or you could just get all the proxies to fuck with each other, that'd be hilarious too. Yeah, remember kids, it's only peer pressure if he agrees to do it. Ooh, yeah. Now I want to teach you a few fun games you can play with your friends during class and not get into trouble. Now this is a purely educational rant video, and you know Papa Frank would just cares about you, so appreciate this. Ooh, yeah. Now we invented this game back in high school. We call it silent mode. You gotta get really good at mimicking the phone when it's vibrating. You gotta get that dip. Now if you get really good at this, and you're sitting in the back of the class, no one's ever gonna know it's you, and the teacher's gonna go ape shit. She's gonna turn around and be like, who the fuck is doing that? Stop it! <laughs> and you know, you can have your phone turned off in your bag, so if the teacher actually suspects it's you, he says, not me, bitch. He's not me, you know, 300, check it. The silent mode game is classic. I suggest you get real good at it. I swear if you get real good at it, teachers will crack. They will crack. <laughs> It took me a long time to practice, so if you, if, you don't, if you don't get it the first time, don't worry about it. Ooh, yeah. Finally, just make sure you become friends with a minimum of two weird white kids. Like those really weird white kids that sit alone at lunch. Cause you know, you want to be on the good side. Just in case. Look, honestly, just don't be this guy. And you, and you should be fine. Honestly, so there you have it folks a quick honest high school survival video, which isn't total bullshit told by those generic Generic girls on YouTube, you know the you know like they have 400k and they're just very like <laughs> Like they're just very happy all the time like they were obviously Like they were obviously like really popular in high school and they just they didn't pay any attention to me <laughs> I am beautiful No matter what they say I'm 42 years old. So yeah, I hope you learned something valuable. The rest of the gang haven't gotten here yet, so uh, so next week they'll be back, and we'll have some good stuff going. Oh yeah, give me some of that good old dick. So you know, yeah. Don't use contraceptives. You know, um, stay in drugs, don't do school. And I'll see y'all later. It's filthy Frank, motherfucker. It's filthy Frank, bitch. Let's get some pussy tonight. Give me the, give me the, give me the pussy, boss.